after the ti- after Jacob forfeited the title, right? There was a website that reported that Did Jacob, Jacob go back and get the belt when he got in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just ask knowing Jacob. Right? Yeah, right, right, right. Can but I, no, can no, I get that, my belt that didn't happen. But you, you know, yeah, right. <laughs> Episode of Off the Top with Rikishi Fatu. I am your co host, Team D. We would like to thank our main sponsor for the evening. That's going to be Knox Pro Entertainment, based out of Van Nuys, California. A. You want to find out everything all on Knox Pro, just log on to their website at www.knoxpro.com. Big Quiche, how you doing, man? We are in the house, Joey. Yes, sir. It's good to see you, my man. Always good to see you, sir. How yeah. you doing, man? Hey, I'm here, man. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to another episode, you know, where we can chit-chat and kind of catch up. I'm tired as hell, man. I just you came back. You are a man on the move. You are on, like, that WWE schedule still. You just got back from Atlanta, GA, uh, yeah, well, doing know, Dragon Con? Uh, the, the, yeah. Dragon Con. Well, I think it was five days. I got in there on a, on a Wednesday. Work signing from, I did a wrestling show, DCW. It was Dragon Con Wrestling. Okay. And I got honored, uh, you know, a Hall of Fame into their uh, into their indie company over there. It was pretty cool. Did an autograph signing. Probably about a thousand people showed up. Wow. And then Friday, signing. Uh-huh. Saturday, signing. Sunday, signing. And then did a Q&A, Joey. Okay. They had me uh, booked for uh, daytime on Monday from 12 to 2 p.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I no, it was time for me to jump the flight after that. Uh, okay. Or before that. Yeah, so it was crazy. It was like I've never, ever seen a Comic-Con like Dragon Con before besides the one in San Diego. But this was a humongous... Comic Con, there's over a hundred thousand people had to, all over the city of uh, Atlanta. So it was crazy, man. It, it was it was definitely a vibe, but I'm exhausted. Did you see that picture floating around of Xavier Woods uh, dressed up as uh, Too Cool and Rikishi? No, I didn't. You didn't see that. There's no. a, there's a picture going around. Yeah, of Xavier Woods yeah. and like company. he's a good dude, man. He, they dressed up yeah. as Too Cool and they uh, nailed it. They looked pretty good. Uh, they had one dude uh, doing you, and I, I don't know where he got the the thong. The, the, yeah, but it's, it it looked it looked legit. It looked show ready. Uh, it said Rikishi across uh, the yeah. waist, and they had Scotty Too Hotty, Grandmaster Sex <laughs> so, so, so so he came to me at the show the first night. Okay, the wrestling show. Now uh-huh. keep in mind, you, it's cosplay, right? Yes, sir. So he walked up to me, and you know I had no. He had his glasses on, and I had no idea it was him. Because I'm thinking, oh, it's a cosplayer, looks like your right, day. Right. But he took his glasses off and said, oh, shit. <laughs> What's happening, man? So we start chit chatting. I've always been a fan of uh, Xavier Woods and New Day. Right. You know what I mean? I thought that, you know, those, those boys had just, you know, uh, magic chemistry, you know, with the Usos back in the day. And I miss watching those guys work together. But it was good to see him and, uh, Good dude. I'm I'm a big fan of a new day. So man, Xavier you, Woods. You just got back from Atlanta, GA, man. Yeah. And, and your your Funko Pops are still sh- selling like hotcakes, uh, people out there. Get your Funko Pop, man, because I don't know how yeah. much longer those things are gonna be around. Uh you've you're moving and grooving through those. You're going to Ireland. Yeah. Uh, people are gonna where 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 can people catch you in Ireland? You got an Ireland trip well, coming up. Yeah, I posted up it's the Northern Ireland Comic Con. It's the biggest uh Comic Con out there in Ireland. Northern Ireland part, and and uh, it's called uh, Icon. It's going to be at the Icon Center, and I posted it up on my IG. So uh, I haven't been back to Ireland, man, uh, since back in the WWE days, maybe about twenty something plus years ago. Okay. Um, so I'm really looking forward to go back to Ireland. You know, have some whiskey have, or have, something. Have, have some good Jameson, some good whiskey. Mm-hmm. You know, and have some good beer. They got some good beer out there. And, Ireland, to me, it was just a fun place to be. But, you know, to be able to come back, you know, for Comic-Con, man, if it was anything like the Dragon Con, mm-hmm. man, I better save up my energy again, man, because it's a, a fly in there. Uh, I think it's 15 hours from LAX all the way to London, then London catch a little s- small plane into uh, Edinburgh. And then, uh, you know, work on a Saturday, work Sunday, Jump back on the flight, head back over to LAX, and and then take back a breather. To the grind. Yeah, take a breather for a second. So yeah, make sure to get your tickets if you're out there in Northern yeah. Ireland. Come on through. You know it's uh, by Monopoly Events that puts on these big shows uh, overseas. And uh, I want to thank my peoples at Gimmick Promotions. 
you know, Jared Bird for booking your boy out that way. So you do a lot of these cons. You travel uh, yeah. all these different places. You see all these different people. Is there anybody to this day that Big Key sees and like, kind of like, you know, like, oh, my God, I can't believe that so-and-so? Well, oh. I, I ran into Lee Majors. The fall guy. <laughs> yeah, that's not Bion- even Bionic Man. Yes, well, yes, sir. That's what I, I, I recognize him as the Bionic Man. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did the the Fall Guy yeah, later right. on in the eighties. He looked like he can use some of those Bionic stuff in his body now, though. <laughs> wow, he's <laughs> who's walking around? He walking like he's walking around like a worker, huh? Yeah, no, he walk. <laughs> he walk around like he got hit by a Mack truck or yes, something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, what I mean, he had a little trucker hat on. I really couldn't recognize, but he. He only had like about four security guards around him, and Lee I was asking my guy, "Who's that?" Says Lee Majors, and I said, "Bionic Man." <laughs> said, yeah, Bionic Man. I said, "Damn!" So I wanted to have a picture with him, but yeah, I, I didn't. Of all I, people, nah. I was not expecting you to yeah. say Lee Majors. Lee Majors. A lot man. of the people, a lot of the listeners, probably don't know that's a little bit before their time. But just there's yeah. Google. But damn it, uh, Lee yeah. Majors was a stud muffin back hey, in those yo, days yo, with the Bionic out, Man. The check Paul out Gunn. the Bionic Man. Yo, yeah, yo, yes, go, go on YouTube and check him out. You and you know? know another cool thing, Big Keisha, about yeah. these cons? Uh, fans actually do get the real you when they meet you. Um, you are 100% one of those guys who, who takes the time every time with all the fans. Um, I've seen you when you're tired. Uh, I mean, you're, 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 you're human. I mean, there's times you probably don't uh, want to be there, but you, you make every, every uh, interaction with the fan count. Um, all day, every day. Is there anything you do before you go downstairs and you take your table to prepare yourself for that interaction? You're because you're interacting with like hundreds of people every day. Uh, you just go with a positive attitude, Joey. You know, what I mean, I mean that's just anything, right? You know, sometimes we don't feel like doing it. You know, but you know, you you got to realize people paid hard earned money, you know, to come through those doors and then to get there to you paid more money to be able to be, you know, happy to come see you and stuff like that. And so, yeah, you know, it, it, it's hard to keep a smile on for like eight, nine hours. You know, by the time I get back to my room, right. my cheek muscles hurt, man. Mm-hmm. You know, my lower back, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. is like, you know, just popped out of place. Just, you know, you know, I'm a big dude, so when, you know, not every Comic-Con has comfortable chairs. Right. You know, let, let me just tell you my, my my pains that I'm going through, you know, to be able to be there. You know what I mean? Uh, um, and, you know, just to be able to see all the fans, how happy they are. Yeah. To see you. And then especially when they're bringing, you know, their kids too, man. Yeah. And some of these kids weren't even born when I was out there. But it just goes to show you, like, the father. They're always talking about the mother and father. Yeah, so this is who we used to watch when we were little kids at your age. Mm. So now they're educated, and they would tell me, like, yeah, we just showed, you know, our kids your YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, tell them what your, tell them what your move was. Tell them, tell them what the move was. <laughs> Poor kid don't want to say steak face. They're like, ah, he's all right, he's all right. But, <laughs> but yeah, you just got to keep a positive attitude. Yes, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And, and I just count the days down. You know, I, I just try to get, I take it day by day. Yeah. I like this one here, the, the Dragon Cup. Man, it was like four or five days, and it was like, you know, the first day, let's get it through. Yes, sir. You know, it didn't do nothing really. You know, you get tired, you want to go back and grab you some, you know, some rest. Mm-hmm. But, you know, for me, I got to, you know, wind down. So I would, you know, have me a shot of Jameson and some good whiskey, get a, get a good cold beer. Just to kind of unwind, right? Because you've been go, 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 go all yep. day mm-hmm. since the morning. Get something healthy to eat, and then up to the room and just, you know, you know, take a nice, you know, hot shower and just relax and rewind. Uh, you know, rewind the circle. You know, make yep. sure all the pictures are straight. You know, make sure the count and all this stuff here. You know, so yeah, it, it takes a toll. But once you keep doing it over and over, it becomes just, uh, you know. Just a natural thing. Yes, sir. Well, it's always uh, always good to uh, have you back when you come back from these cons. It's it's good to see you back here. We only got you for a day. You're right back out to uh, Ireland. I know it. Right? Um, so let, let's jump into it. some uh, current news, man. Uh, right off the bat, man, uh, the wrestling world, we lost uh, Sid Vicious. Wow. Sid Vicious, uh, a.k.a. Sid Justice. You know, uh, man, what a tremendous, tremendous big man uh, mm. talent. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Sid Vicious? Oh, we we lost another icon in this industry, man. I mean, Sid uh, definitely, you know, left the mark in the business. 
you know, definitely help pave the way for some of the newer generations that are out here. Like, you know, and uh, I, he was always a nice guy to the Samoans, to me and my family. You know, he was always, you know, that cool, man. I mean, we kind of, you know, kind of crossed paths back in the day in WCW uh, when he was, um, I think they tried to team him up with. Uh, a dance by me, they were the skyscrapers. Yeah, skyscraper. With, so he was uh, uh, managed by Teddy Long back in the day. But, yes, you know, again, man, you know, uh, my condolences goes out to him, uh, his family, his friends, um, and and all the wrestling fans throughout the world uh, uh, losing another uh, icon in the wrestling world, man. It's just it's just been a lot for the wrestling industry. It's been a lot lately, you know. Yes, sir. Um, do you recall like one of your first times ever? Do you recall the first time you ever met? Sid Vicious? You said it was in WCW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. in the locker room. You know, where all the boys, you know. Yeah. What did you, know you think when you first saw him? Because he was a big... I'll do, I was like, damn, this dude's a monster. Really? Uh, let's see if he can work. Right? And it's normally you see big bodybuilders, they go out there, they're uh -huh. the They can't move, they can't work, no psychology, stiff, blah, blah, blah. But he was, you know, he always had uh, good people up underneath him to help you know, train him, you know what I mean? Like, he, he kind of, you know, learned on, on on the job, you know? Sid came in during the time working with, you know, you know, Uncle Alvin Sika, the Hogan days, and so forth, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, and uh, he became that. He was just a, he was a special attraction to look at, because back in the day, you didn't see too many, what, six foot nine giants Look like that and look ripped up and just like a monster, like a, like a villain. You know? Yeah, like yeah. a monster villain in a, in a movie. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So again, man, uh, you know, we 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 met in the locker room back in the day in Atlanta, uh, center stage, and you know, our relationship with you know my family and said we took off from there. But we we wasn't like homeboys, homeboys. Right. You right, know what I mean. Right. Uh, I remember he hung around a lot with uh, hardcore Bob Holly. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. Alabama, you know. Okay. The, and uh, cause they used to always go work out all the time, all, you know. So, you know, the gym rats, you know, gym rats hang around with gym rats. And then those that hang in the club, it's in the club. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so that those are my, uh, um, my uh, remembering of uh, this icon of Sid, man. Um, where would you rank uh, Sid uh, uh, as uh, one of the best big men in the business? Top 10, top 20? Um, man, there's so many right? uh, big guys in the business. But, yeah, I, I I would have to put him up there somewhere in the top top 15. Yes, sir. I would think because there's just so many, you know, to be able to be one of the best big men in the business – you got to be a taker. Yes, sir. You got to be a yoko. Mm. You know what I mean? You're not just being big, but also can work. Can work. Mm -hmm. Right? Because uh, nothing like being a big guy and, uh, you know, you're you're clumsy and you hurt people and and stuff like that. Not saying that that's what he did. Right. But, you know, to be able to, you know, to fit up there in that top ten, it's a, it's a very shallow, shallow roster up there. And he came back from a really hor horrendous injury. Did you see his injury on uh, on TV that happened? Man, when he came off the second row. Yes, sir. How can you not forget that? So you did see that. <sighs> Jump off and didn't bend and just snapped his shin. And then it just dangled it off. Just like it's probably right? the worst injury uh, in pro wrestling I mean, on... Uh, it was like amputated. It was... It looked like it was gone. Not a part of his... Yeah, definitely right? just Broken. hanging from skin. That's all it was. It was... Uh, and they say protest. wrestling ain't real. Jeez, please. Okay, go please, ahead and... Man. If you think wrestling ain't real, go ahead and YouTube <laughs> that part with Sid Vicious coming off the second rope and, and, and watch his leg. <sighs> it ain't like he got Jesus. a fake leg on. Man. And, and, you right? know, I, I don't think his career was ever and quite the same. And he still finished the match. Yes, sir. That, that That's a wrestler for <laughs> and you. And he yes, still yes, finished sir. the match. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man. Uh, rest in peace, um, uh, Sid Vicious. Another uh, I know it, man. big loss I I here uh, this weekend. You know what? Uh, there was a horrible, horrible uh, internet uh, false uh, reporting of Mark Henry uh, passing yesterday, and I was just um, 
Really? Yeah. Yes, sir. I, it's just, I f***ing hate the internet sometimes, man. But yeah, that was a... Uh, uh, yesterday, and I was just thinking, like, man, I don't really want to go in and keep talking about this because, it's, you know, I don't know. I just uh, I'm glad that, that that was false. So he had to put out uh, a video saying, "I'm still here, I'm still alive." So that that, that was good to hear uh, hear that. So thank you. I'm, I'm glad Mark Henry's well, uh, with us. They 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 said I died what uh, 10, 15 Every, years yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly. It, it seems like all the big guys they they just go ahead and just just write you off, just write us off, yeah. die off. <laughs> Jesus. Just die us off. We got a heart attack, whatever the case it may be. Yeah, do and, some uh, research, people. Don't be so lazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad Mark came out there and did something on yes, uh, me, I seen me, that. Too, me too. I was wondering what the hell he was me talking about. Me too. Honestly, Big Keish. He's saying, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, Big Keish, I was really yeah. happy to, to see that, that that was false reporting. But we're going to talk I, about. I think if if they were to die me off, I'm going to come out on, on, on Instagram, uh-huh. on Instagram uh-huh. live, uh-huh. and I'm just going to bend over and the world can kiss my <laughs> hey, we still breathing. Yes, sir. You know, the the, the booty still breathing. <laughs> the booty is still, still breathing. breathing. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> oh, my God. Aye, my aye, aye, aye. Okay, so you know what, man? Uh, uh, let's take it back a few weeks ago, Big Key Smackdown. Yeah. Uh, your son, Sola Sokoa, he had Jacob Fatu surrender his tag title and give it to uh, Tonga Loa. Yeah. Uh, so right off the bat, I, I I wanted to get your thoughts on that. What 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 is your your thoughts on that? I thought that was really riveting television. Uh, I did not see that coming. I was really uh, blown away by that. I what can't did, even call it. I can't. When is the last time you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> Man, you know, but, I'm, I'm like a fan now. Yes, me I, too. I don't even want to say anything no more. Because every time I say something... You make news. Yeah, make news and then people twist my words up. Yes, and, yes, Like sir. I'm against WWE. I'm not against WWE. Because, Why would I be against WWE? I'm glad you bring that up. You know? I'm glad you bring that up. Because never, yeah. and people listen, never in any of these podcasts did you say, uh, son, I want you to leave WWE and go to AEW. Exactly. You said... It's an option. There's so many options out there. Not just go, go to AEW. And somehow the sites twisted it. And I saw. Yeah. I saw this. Sh- and and uh, you know, that's really lazy reporting. Everybody, I come know, on, man. Come on, man. What are you doing? If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna talk about, you know, what I said, please make sure you put down exact. Don't twist my words <laughs> yeah. around. Why the hell? Like WWE. I'm gonna say it again. WWE is the dynasty's home, period. We are not going nowhere. We don't plan to go nowhere. The past, present, and future. future. There you go. Give me a yeet on that. Yeah, people got so hot. They're like thinking you're advocating for your son to leave WB to go to AEW. <laughs> and, you know, that was just, it was just a really week with internet and false reportings and yeah. this and that and the other and and i'm so glad that you we're, we're talking about this because guess what um after the ti- after jacob forfeited the title right there was a website that reported that Did jacob-, jacob go back and get the belt when he got in the locker room <laughs> <laughs> no. just ask no jacob right? yeah right 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 can but I, no, no, that, that didn't back? happen but you, you know yeah right <laughs> what did uh transpire according to the iwc that's the internet wrestling community big uh. Keish, um there were sites reporting that Jacob Fatu had a screaming match with Triple H over him having to surrender the title. And, you know, right off the uh, bat, I'm thinking, like, you know, first of all, I know that. I mean, I'm going to, just for me knowing things, that's that's probably false. That's I don't think Jacob's going to yell at his new when, boss uh, that he just signed with. And, you know. Well, you know, Jacob. Jacob's a humble, respectful kid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. He's a humble, humble kid. Like, he, he would never. Ever. We gonna crush that right now, yes, that sir. rumor. Yes, sir. Jacob would never, ever, ever disrespect Triple H, period. Yes, sir. Nor will he disrespect me, anybody older in our family, or even his own cousins. He would never or even the workers there. That's not that's not in that kid's bones. Now, if you cross that kid, <laughs> yeah. Whole and, different story. Catch, it's a whole new different story. Yes, sir. So, you know, you know I, my, my thought process was this, Big Keish. Now, when, when stories like that come out, because that's pretty intimate, you're saying Triple H and Jacob had a, a, a screaming match. So No, I didn't say that. No, 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 yeah. no, no, not you. I'm, I'm, I'm saying... Yeah, um, yeah, let's watch our words. <laughs> yeah, no, not you, Big Keish. <laughs> 
Um, uh, tell David on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Kavika, so, you're... <laughs> so um, when the, when these reports come out yeah. about uh, this interaction between Jacob and Triple H, yeah. nobody knows about that interaction but people who were there. Right. So there's so how far back in this uh, uh, that that you've been in the business has there been insiders who would leak information to the press like that, like. And what kind of people do that? Like, are, are these cameramen, Stooges. producers? Stu okay, so let's, let's get into that. You know what I that. mean? I, I think, like, first of all, those type of people shouldn't be around uh, within the company. You know, if you can't protect uh, uh, the livelihood of those that are there, staff behind the cameras, the talent, you know, those that are in charge of the company and protect what storylines they got going on, protect, you know, everything around that circle, then you no need to be there, you know? And sometimes people, you know, it's a lot of jealousy sometimes, you know, when they're not figured in and, you know, the company goes this way with who and who, whoever the case it may be. So they feel like, well, it's just they're not using, let me go ahead and just leak this out. Let me go ahead and possibly today, who knows? They're probably making side deals and just selling information. I mean... It, it's a whole new, different different era now, Joey. You know what I mean? Back in the day, kayfabe to us was exactly that. Was, you know, K this is our bread and butter, man. You know, and this find, podcast wouldn't happen back then. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. There wouldn't be no podcast going on. Yes, sir. There wouldn't be nobody. I mean, man, nobody would be talking about anything. Yes, sir. You know, but yeah, you know, so it's a sad case. And, uh, you know, hell, if I was somebody that was in charge there and find out, you know that you know people are leaking out stuff. It, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even be a, a discussion. You fired right on the job. That's it. You know what I mean? Because if you can't be a part of the crew uh, to protect what type of storyline that you know this storyline that we believe in mm -hmm. draws and everybody is going to be engaged into it, that just helps the whole company, including that person, getting a paycheck. It's going to help draw to, you know, for everybody making money as far as revenues for the company. So why would you want to be, you know, that stupid to be able to put us a But that sometimes, Joey, you know, uh, there's different looks in this industry. You know, sometimes people, that's that's just, that's what they're high off. That's that's their thing. You know, I want to be the first to, to give this news out to who and who. But, you know, you're a coward to not even mention your name. But I'll, I'll give it to, you know, whoever, blah, right. blah, blah, the, right. the dirt sheets or wh wh whoever. Would. But I, I don't I don't follow a lot of that stuff too much. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? But it's good to kind of, uh, you know, know that, you know, or have some type of info that people like that's what they're talking about. And, you know, they, they have a right to, you know, they, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But make sure when you when you, you know, open up your opinion, you speak in facts. Yes, sir. What what's that saying? Uh, bad press is um, good press or whatnot. Um, do you think there's any kind of positives to information getting leaked out there because it gets people talking, it gets people thinking and wondering. So then all of a sudden they start googling. Social yada, yada, yada. media. So do that's you... what it is. It's just everybody. We need something to talk about. You know, I, I need something to talk about on my on my website or on my podcast because you know everything we talk about is just boring. It's the same. Sh so. Let, let's let's bring up what's happening. You know right, what I mean? Right, but right, right. hey, that, that's fine. But just speak facts. You know, these are people's livelihoods who you're talking about. So, you know, I I don't even, you know, I don't even, uh, uh, you know, engage into a lot of all that's going on. I say what I say, mm -hmm. what I know, and that's it. Some people may agree, some people may not. Hey, you can kiss my <laughs> if you don't. Mm -hmm. and I ain't hard to find. You know what I mean? So, and and that's that. Yes, sir. So it's safe to say that information was uh, definitely false. Absolutely. But let's circle back to uh, Jacob having to forfeit that title. So do you think that is a seed? Uh, me just being a pro wrestling fan and lover, worker, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I look at it as uh, a seed uh, uh, to a uh, breakup. Feud. Why are you asking me? You, you Everybody, I want, if you're listening to this podcast... This guy sitting across from me is real good friends with Jacob. And here he is asking me, like, like what do I think? You're like, 
You could just call him, Joey, and <laughs> ask him yourself. But you know what? Just like you yeah. said earlier, how you're a, a fan and you're enjoying this television. Yeah. I'm the same way. And I don't want to know the answers, but I'm thinking. Oh, would you stop it? I'm thinking. <laughs> just call him. And I'm just, thinking it, it, it's a like, scene. Man. And then, and then we see this promo that was just released about the eight-man tag that's going to happen on the next uh, SmackDown. Yeah. So it's all four Bloodline members going up against uh, uh, Austin Theory, his partner, and the D, uh, DIY guys. Um, there was a moment in there where, where Jacob was going to put the... Uh, please. Uh, it, it, it just seemed... I don't mean to cut you off, but... Yeah. Uh, Kavika just told me to cut you off. You're talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> you, it just seems like... I don't know. It seems like... There's going to be some type of war games or something. You know, there's a whole bunch of, like, we're just waiting for Roman to introduce his, possibly, the OG bloodlines. I don't know. You know, there's been stuff leaked out there with, uh, uh, you know, uh, back in the day with uh, Roman, uh, Seth Rollins, and what's his name from uh, AEW? When they all used to be together. You remember that? What's the name? What's the name? The Shield? Yeah. Yes, sir. It was John Moxley. With John... Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. You just... Guys, he's just nodding his head over here. And I'm asking him a question. <laughs> I'm just trying to be y'all's eyes for that. So, who's to say? Right? Because at, at this point right now, we see what Solo's doing. He just... He's just recruiting people left and right. But in the meantime, it's kind of like, you know, Roman's kind of been real kind of quiet. He just made his appearance. But now it's like, we're waiting, right? Where, where, where is it going to go from there? Does it come back with Jimmy and Jay? Or does it come back with Seth Rollins and Moxley? Who knows? You know, maybe maybe Jimmy without Jay? I don't know. So we'll see. I, but at the end of the day, I'm sure that, you know, uh, Jacob went back and asked for the belt in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's knowing our nephew, boy. He, yeah. He's a nice kid. He's a funny kid. And I'm sure Jacob's going to do what's best for business. Yes, he, sir. Absolutely. Jacob has no <laughs> ego. He has no ego. Trust me when I tell you that. I, I, I've get, I, absolutely. He let me give him a choke slam one time. Yeah. And then you and Reno yelled at him for letting me do it. So <laughs> that's that's the proof that he has no ego out there. All right. So, uh, and of course, uh, we're coming off the Bash in Berlin pay per view. Yeah. Which was a huge success out there uh, in well, Germany. When was that? Saturday, uh, this past weekend. Yes, sir. Saturday? Okay. Yes, sir. So, um, of course, the big news coming out of that event is uh, Cody Rhodes defeating Kevin Owens. And oh, okay. I, and I know your son, Solo, he had uh, issued a challenge. He wanted the winner of that match. So now we know Cody Rhodes won. So we're going to see a rematch at some point in the future between, between Solo Sokoa mm -hmm. and Cody Rhodes. <clears throat> now, the big match that stood out to me was Gunther against RKO. And, and Gunther oh, defeated Randy Orton. And at the end of the match... No sh Yes, sir. No sh Yes, sir. No sh <laughs> Yes, Gunther. Gunther uh, defeated Randy Orton, and they... they Randy's a pro, dude. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Randy's a pro. Yeah. Randy, Randy's big business. No ego. Big, big business. Icon, legend. So we would do business. Good for Randy, man. Or even better for, for Gunther, right? Now, Gunther, now you can put underneath, uh, you know, he beat a legend. Yes, sir. Like, like, yep. like Randy, man. Yep. I'm sure that was one hell of a match, though. Yes, yeah. sir. And, and I, I wanted to get your thoughts on Gunther. Um, do you see Gunther uh, get, get into, into that main event pitcher, which he's he's well on his way? You, you know what? Gunther has that Ludwig Borga type of heat. You guys remember Ludwig Borga? Of course, Borga? yes, sir. You remember Boris Zukov? Of course, one of the Bolsheviks. All right, okay. So we're, we're going kind of that that route, right? Yes, sir. He and the guy can talk. You know, he can talk and he's a good worker. Right? And so putting him in with the right people, I think he can draw some money with the company. You know, and if, uh, I'll tell you a story right there. If, uh, you know, Randy, uh, you know, he beat Randy in uh, the paper, the Berlin. Sounds to me like the company got uh, big plans for him. And, you know, I look forward to meeting this guy. You know, I, I know I said what I said about him, and that was probably me just being angry. 
Yeah. Right. Okay. Tell when, me when, what he every a, when he beat Jay and uh, yeah, with, yeah, with the right. tap out the that, submission. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And I, yeah. What father does it? Right. right. Exactly. Okay. Come on now. Uh, yeah. yeah. Everybody. All of y'all that was, you know, pissed off and y'all can kiss my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if your son was not there, you'd be the same way. <laughs> but anyhow, you know, so Gunther, you know, take my apology. I am now a fan of yours. <laughs> And I, I I look forward to meeting this guy because, for all I know, he's probably a, a real cool cat, you know. And to be able to uh, be a, a good worker and be a cool cat, oh, you you you, you know you you good with me now, you know what I mean? And smart, right? Yes, sir. No, I had no ego or nothing like that, you know. So yeah, so I, I look for bigger big ups to Gunther. Do you have any memories of uh, being in uh, Germany? Uh, you spent some time in Germany, I imagine. Uh, yeah, a lot of Heineken, man. <laughs> we used to be out there for two weeks on these damn RV buses, man. And uh, we'd all fight up to try to get on that bus early because they only had one little cubby hole in the bottom of that bus. And it had like a bed in it. So that bed was when the bus driver would sleep underneath there. Uh -huh. And so... I would, you know, try to get up there and get there early. And uh, sometime I'd open it up and I'd open I'd see Undertaker in there. I'd say, <laughs> damn! You know? Because I never knew, for, for sure, I knew Yoko wasn't in that damn cubby hole. <laughs> All right, so I would get in there and uh -huh. see Godfather sometime. You know, so they would come straight out from, the, uh, from you know, having our last drink, pack their bag, man, just pull it on the bus, and they would go sleep there so they don't have to wake up for the call time, but... Yeah, we would be on the road for two weeks out there, man. And, you know, a lot of traveling. You know, and it was fun, man. You know, hanging out with your friends. Macho Man, John Cena back in the day, The Undertaker. Uh, man, uh, that God wins, Godfather, Yoko. I mean, it was a lot of us, man. Dustin Rhodes was out there. Billy Gunn, Bart Gunn, Smoking Guns was mm -hmm, out. Mm -hmm. The Nasty Boys. <laughs> You, you can imagine, man, that, that crew was one nonstop go-getters, man. I've seen some photos of you uh, throughout your travels. You uh, take time to go out and see sites and stuff like that. Any sites in Germany that stand out um, to memory? Uh, you know what? I think that what you see at the sites is just in front of the hotels mm -hmm. or, you know, or wherever we pulled up at the building. Yeah. Because we really didn't get time to, you know, I mean, it was doing the show, Joey. And, you know, you come back, shower, boom, you head to the bus, head to the hotel. You try to get there for that last call, man. Yes, sir. You know, get yep. in there and you pound those beers up, man, and get a couple of shots, a couple of bottles of Jack. And then you head to the room, boom, you're out, man. You know, and get ready for the next day. They already give you an itinerary, four, four-hour trip. Headed right, you got one hour to check in, boom, back on the bus, headed to the arena. So that was the life back in the day, man, you know, and... It's a lot more easier now just to be able to fly in, do the show, fly out. Yes, sir. Well, speaking of flying in and flying out, you are flying out tomorrow uh, to Ireland. I so know, uh, safe travels to you, Big Keish. You got a, a long ways to go, so we're going to let you, you uh, get out of here. Is there any final words to your listeners? Hey, <laughs> I always remember this. It's free to be kind to one another. And always, always, what? Smarten up. We out. <laughs>